Greetings to you, dear pupils and parents. It's a wonderful experience working with you through this medium. We call on you to be attentive and follow this lesson keenly so that you can understand and do your exercises at the end. Have a nice time learning. We will be right back. Good morning, children. My name is Mustanyami Evis. I will be teaching. I will be teaching you general knowledge for class two. And today we are going to start with environmental science. But before we went on holidays, we study living things. Now, children, what are living? Things. Good. You said living things are things that have life in them. Good. Name two types of living things that you know. Good. Human being. Plant, good. Animals, good. Now, you make mention of a plan. So, our lesson for today is part of a plan. So, children, observe this plan on the board. And I will ask you some questions there. Good. Now, what can you see on the board? I can see a, a plant. Good. Now, on the plant, We can see some various parts. Good. Now, what is the name of the part that goes down into the soil? Root. Good. What is the name of the plant? What is the name of the part green in color? Leaf. Good. What is the name of the part that beautifies the plant? Flower. Good. What is the name of the part that support the branches, leaves, and all the other part? The stem. Good. Good. That was good of you. So, we are going to do the part of a plant. And before we label the part of the plant on the board, we are going to start by looking at what is a plant. And we say, plants are living things that need air, water, and sunlight to grow. So plant, plants are living things that need air, water, and sunlight to grow. Good. Let us come back to our plant proper. Good. On, on this plan on the board, the first or the last part of the plan, or the part of the plan that ends the plan is called term, is called terminal build.
Good. Let us leave the next part. What is the name of the part green in color? It is called leaf. What is the name of this part that called the plant? Or that all the other branch that all the branches and the leaves. It's called the stem. What is the name of the part that goes down into the soil and hold the plant firm? Root. What is the name of the part that hold the, the leaves and the fruit? It's called the branch. We move to the last part. What is the name of the part that beauty to the plant, or that make the plant beautiful. It's called flower. Good. From our plant on the board, I believe some of you will be able to name the various parts of a plant. So we've said plants are living things that need air, water, and sunlight to grow. And some parts of a plant are you have the terminal leaf, you have a leaf, you have the stem, you have the root, you have the branch, and you also have the flower. Good. Okay, children, before we move or before we go to our exercise, let us look at some of the importance of this plan to us. Who can tell us one important of a plan? One, the first important of a plan is that it provides us with fruit. And if we destroy this plant, are we going to have fruit to eat? No. Another important is the leaves provide us with shelter. If we cut these leaves, what is going to happen to the plant? The plant will that. Another important of this plan to us is that what? It helps to protect rain from dropping direct onto the soil. If we cut this plant, what will happen? The rain will fall directly and there will be a high run of that may automatically destroy the soil. So I am going to end there. There are other importance of the plan. Now let us move to our exercise. Exercise one. Which part of the plan is green in color? You are going to underline the correct answer. Exercise 2. A dash is an example of a living thing. You have two answers there. You have stone, plant. 
a dash is an example of a living thing. Good. I hope that is all about the lesson. Hope you people enjoy it. And thanks for being attentive. See you in our next lesson. Hello dear pupils and parents. Thank you for following the lesson till the end and we hope you enjoyed it. For your questions and exercises, write them down and send to us through the email info at teachconnect.org. The teacher will answer your questions, correct your exercises and send them back to you. Thank you for working with us.